Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the Long Beach State Dynasty here in the NIT Championship game. Now, this team is magical, 32 and four, and we face a 30 and five SIU Salukis team. This is literally our carbon copy in another team. I mean, to be honest with you, they were 30 and 5, 17 and 1 in conference, and they made it to the NIT championship. I mean, this is the matchup that was meant to be. Now, they are led by Lamar Mahoney, who's averaged 22 and a half points per game in the regular season. He is going to the NBA. I can't wait to see he and Zion Storm at the next level. Hopefully, Zion Storm gets drafted. This is his last game in college, so I am. I'm, I'm excited for him to move on to a new chapter, but I'm also sad he's been here since the beginning. So can we get Storm one last ring? We win the tip-off here in the championship. And now here we go versus Southern Illinois, 30-5. and five. Here's Monsetti starting it out in the lane in traffic. And he gets that one to go, 2 nothing here. Nice start to this game by LBSU. So here's Mahoney this time driving to the lane and it's going to be a foul on William Caesar. We're gonna have to contain Mahoney to, in order to win this game for sure. So here's Storm putting on a move on Mahoney, spinning him around, jump shot from the free throw line. And Storm gets going and he now has a bucket here, but here's a steal this time by Mahoney pushing it up court. And now the next possession working it inside and that is a jump shot just out of the lane. And Southern Illinois ties this game up at four apiece. Now here is Storm getting to the lane. An easy layup, baby in traffic a little bit. And the shot was altered. Has now come down the Salukis on the next possession. Mahoney gets the bucket. It's 6-4 early on. Mismatch inside. Zion Storm gets mixed up on a big man and that will be another bucket for Southern Illinois. And now here we go, back on offense. Here's a mismatch for us. Mahoney tries to contest the shot, but it's an and one. Zion Storm on the contact. If we can get Mahoney into foul trouble, that will be a good sign as well. So Zion Storm goes to the free throw line. He knocks it down, completing the three-point play. And now James Quick checks into the game off the bench, passing it to the corner. It is Tamir Macklin, the sharpshooter. He gets going from three-point land, 10-8. But here on the defensive end, here he is getting into a little bit of foul trouble that time. And Southern Illinois goes to the line and hits both free throws, 10-10. Michael Workman checks into the game and he is very, very good. I can't wait to see what he can provide here in the future. Because now here we are on defense now, a 12-10 game. James Quick running the break, passing it up to Michael Workman and he gets it to go. Among the land of the Giants is a 10-2 run here for LBSU, 14-10. But they have a very good team as well. Like I said, it's like the carbon copy of us. As they do get a foul that time, it's now 14 to 12. Here's a jump shot this time from mid-range off the mark, but a rebound, 360 dunk. And now Southern Illinois ties this game up at 14 apiece. Here in the championship game, wide open three. It's Tamir Macklin, he hits it. And now we have the three-point lead here as now Southern Illinois takes another deep three. This one's off the mark, rebounded by Kayshawn Cooper. Passed up the storm. He's gonna reset up here, pass it to the corner. Monsetti, deep two, it's good. I love Monsetti's game. It's just that mid-range, that three-point. He can also drive it in. He reminds me of kind of a little bit of Doug McDermott in college. Remember how good he was? And now it is a five-point lead here. It is now so the Illinois passes it around in a layup inside, and it is good. And now it is a three-point lead for LBSU. But here's a steal this time. Tamir Macklin pushes it up the court. He was going to take it all the way, but here is getting blocked. And Douglas Taylor on the rebound. He gets fouled by Esmond Ham. And they, we go to the free throw line. Douglas Taylor, he's very good. A freshman All-American, our first first teamer ever. As Zion Storm was the only other freshman All-American to ever grace this series. Is now here they are on offense. Here's a rebound once again. Another rebound. And put up and in. Over Douglas Taylor and Kayshawn Cooper, that is a man-child inside, and now it is 21-18 in favor of LBSU. But Southern Illinois is keeping it close, and now it's just a one-point game. Here is another jump shot, and they take the lead here in the first half. It's now 22-21. But here is Michael Workman off the bench. He's got seven. He hits the open three. 
It's now a one point game. But here's Mahoney with a deep three this time. Off the mark, he was storming transition. He's just gonna shoot, nobody's gonna stop him. He hits it. It's a four point lead here for LBSU here with four minutes to go in the first half. Here's a pass inside, deflected. Deep jump shot, and it is good. I think he had a foot on the line. And now Southern Illinois, the Salukis are only down by two. It's a missed shot running in transition this time. It's Monsetti. He's going to stop and shoot, and it's good. Nothing but net. Monsetti is only three of nine from the field, though. Hasn't shot the same here in this game. And now 32-29. Here we are working to play around. This time it's Michael Workman for the three. He's got ten off the bench. Four of six from the field. So here is Southern Illinois trying to come back in this one. This time it's Hughes on the inside. He's got six points as well. As now Southern Illinois trying to get something going on offense before halftime. Working it up in transition off of the rebound by Kayshawn Cooper. Monsetti, he's just gonna shoot from deep and it's off the back rim. And now they push it the other way in transition. Can we play some defense? Looks like they're gonna reset up here for the last shot. Mahoney's in the corner. I'm surprised they're not giving him this last shot. Seven seconds left. He, they do run a play for him. It's deflected by Storm. Mahoney gets it back. Two seconds left. He's pulling from way beyond three-point range. It's good. Southern Illinois on the back of Mahoney, one of the best NBA prospects in this year's class, knocks it down. And now Southern Illinois remains in it for two-point game. So now here we go to start the second half. Can Mahoney do it for Southern Illinois or will Zion Storm take it over for LBSU? And there is a foul. And Tamir Macklin with another one as they go to the free throw line here for two. The second shot of, this, of these two shots is gonna be good. And now it's 38 to 38. It's gonna be back and forth till the end. Here they are setting the double teams. This time tipped by Mahoney, picked up by 53, runs in transition. And a left-handed layup. And now it is a two-point lead in favor of the Salukis. So now Zion Storm with the ball, looking for the pick from William Caesar. Gets to the bucket, back out to Monsetti. Open three, and it's off the mark. Rebounded by Douglas Taylor. Another open three, Macklin. Off again. Two open threes missed by our two best three-point shooters. You don't see that often. But here's Storm back the other way again. He knocks it down after the step back, 41-40. And LBSU takes the one-point lead here. Here's a three-pointer. This time, Southern Illinois knocks it down. They have a pretty good shooter next to Mahoney there. And now it is 43-41. This is Douglas Taylor on the inside. Contested shot. And that one is off the mark. And we try to play a little full-court defense this time. Douglas Taylor can't get back. They're going to take it all the way inside. And in traffic, over William Caesar. That is good. And the Salukis take the 45-41 lead. So here is Storm looking for a shot this time, calling for the pick from Douglas Taylor. Nice pick and roll inside, wide open, and Douglas Taylor misses it. How does he miss that one? As here the Salukis go the other way. Foul, going to the bucket. He can't convert in Monsetti on the foul. And now it's a six point game. Douglas Taylor, that missed shot, created another opportunity the other way. So here is Macklin up in transition, and that is gonna be good. They had the full court press on, we beat the press. And now it's back to a four-point game. Here's Mahoney with a deep shot from two. Wow, the difficulty on that shot. Fade away and falling. And now it's a six-point game, 43-49. But here's Storm going to the bucket. And he seems like he is keeping us in this game. Is now it's a four-point lead. Another deep three and knocked down. How about Southern Illinois here in the second half? They're not missing. Seven-point game now. Open three, Macklin. He's got to hit this one. It's good. Back to a four point game. And now 52 to 48, Mahoney the other way. I mean, just right away, they are scoring at will now. As here's Monsetti, another open three. He knocks it down. It's gonna be a close one to the end. It's now 54 to 51, Mahoney remains in the game. They're not giving him a rest at all. Here's a fadeaway two, and it's good. Five point game here for Southern Illinois. Can Zion Storm bring us back? Another pick and roll, another layup. We don't need the trade threes, we just need to make smart shots here. And here is Douglas Taylor in transition. Another fade away. It's now a one point game here. So can we stop Mahoney and this offense for the Salukis? Knocked down. 
Another three-pointer, 55 to 59. Pick and roll action. Here's Macklin in the corner once again, open, and he misses an open corner three. You don't see that from Macklin. He's already missed a few of those in this game. So now still a four-point lead now. Eight and a half to go. Here is Storm off the rebound, pushing up court. This is Monsetti in the corner, and that one is off as well. So still a four-point game now as we play good defense on that last possession. Here is Storm. He just moves out to the three-point line and shoots it. Back to a one-point game. Zion Storm putting the team on his back. But Mahoney is on the other side. That kid is so good. He hits another shot, and now it's up to a three-point game. Macklin, he has a hand in his face a little bit, but he had enough space to hit that one. It's off the back rim now, 58-61. to 61. Here is Storm this time, working for a shot. Inside, Douglas Taylor right under the hoop, and he just botches the layup. Douglas Taylor has missed a couple of those as well. So here is Monsetti. Good defense being played here by LVSU. Here's Monsetti. Open man, Macklin, a deep three, and it's off again. You just don't see this from Macklin. So now here we are, another good defensive possession. Here is Storm in transition. He's going to shoot this one off again i mean how many missed threes are we gonna how many open threes are gonna miss in this game is now here they are back the other way and they finally get one to go it's now five minutes left here in this game five point lead here working it inside mahoney on the rebound he puts it up and they call a foul on zion storm it's an and one we were worried about stopping the shot but mahoney was wide open for the rebound and he puts it up it's now an eight point lead Terrence Martin checks into the game. He hits the three. Terrence Martin is just a, such an underrated three-point shooter. But here they are on the offensive boards. This time, putting it up. We need to get the rebounds. It's now a seven-point game. Four and a half to go. Martin in the corner once again. And that one is off. Another missed three-point shot by this LBSU team. We're down by seven. Mid-range shot by the Salukis, and it's good. It's now up to a nine-point lead here. Three and a half to go. So here is Michael Workman getting inside, and he gets fouled. He goes to the line, only hits one of two free throws. And now here we are with three and a half to go, working it inside again. The Salukis are hot here in the second half, and now it is 72 to 62, a 10 point game. Here we are, working it to the corner. It's Terrence Martin again, and it's off. Now Bahoney runs the other way, working it up, passing it to the wing, back inside. And a foul on Ronnie Madoki. And now another foul, creating another opportunity. Is now it's down to a nine point game. But you can just see Southern Illinois starting to get the foul calls late. 75-64, Terrence Martin remains in the game and he hits the three pointer finally. He missed two of those and now it's an eight point game. Our stars are still not in the game for some reason. They're not subbing them in. Here's a three point shot open man up to an 11 point lead, two minutes to go. Here is Workman now, deep shot, missed. Actually on the boards, he puts it up and it is gonna be off, but he goes to the free throw line. It's now a 78-68 game. Our starters do check in here with a minute 20 left. Here's Monsetti, he fakes the three point shot for a second, passes it to the corner, it's Storm open and it rims in and out. Still a 10 point lead. So now a minute to go. Here we are working it back up. Monsetti with the three. He just takes it, and it's off the mark. And now they rebound it and pass it up, but out of bounds is Clinton. And now here we are, down by 10. 38 seconds left. We need a three here, working it around. This time it's Storm. He just takes it, and he makes it. Seven-point game now. 33 seconds left, though. And now here we are just trying to get a steal. They work it all the way around and inside. And the baby hook is good. And that shot will probably do it. Here's Storm, one last three-pointer, and it's good. Now a six-point game here, 10 seconds left. We're just gonna foul him to make sure he goes to the free throw line. Mahoney gets fouled, and now he goes to the line up by six. Lamar Mahoney, seven to 15 in his game. Three for three, make it four for four from the free throw stripe. And now with 7.2 to go, this game should be out of reach as he hits the second, and Mahoney is subbed out. 
And now down by eight, Storm. One last shot to end his career. It's off the mark. And we do not win the NIT championship. We fall to Southern Illinois, literally the same team as us. I mean, 30 and five, we were what, 32 and four? And now we end up our season 32 and five. What a great season this was though. 27 points in Zion Storm's final game. And to be honest, it just came down to shot making in the second half. We just couldn't buy a bucket in some stretches. And Macklin, what was going on with him? I've never seen Macklin that cold. He was missing open shots left and right. But what can you do? I mean, there's gonna be games like this where you don't have the shooting to go along with the production. And I think that, you know, this is kind of a lesson learned. We need some depth to come off of our bench and hit three pointers as well. You know, I'm surprised that the, uh, I usually leave the subs on auto so that, you know, the game doesn't freeze. I remember, I remember you guys, I remember telling you guys that, you know, when you make substitutions manually, sometimes the game freezes. I avoid that by not making substitutions that I make them auto sub it. And I'm surprised that they don't put in Contavian Morgan. I mean, he's a good shooter. I'm surprised they don't do that. Well, Michael Workman had 11 points in this game. Uh, Terrence Martin had eight points in this game. He came off the bench, provided some shooting. He missed some shots down the stretch, though. And like I said, why don't they play Morgan? He's such a good shooter. I just don't understand it. And then looking at the Salukis, in Mahoney's final game, he goes 24-6-2. So pretty uh, versatile stat line from him, but a good career from Zion Storm. I'm going to miss this kid. I mean, he is so good. He has been nothing but consistent here in this series. Averaged 16 points in his rookie in his freshman year, I should say, 6.2 assists. Then next year he had to take on more of a scoring role. He went up to 17.1, and then his assists went down though. But then the next year, his assists went up 6.8. That was a career high before this year, where he averaged 7.8. And just look at the accolades from this kid. I mean, he is so good. All conference, pretty much every single season. He was actually a second team all freshman American in his rookie year. He was actually the freshman of the year in the conference in uh, season one. And honestly, just so good. His whole career, he went one year where he didn't win any awards. I believe it was his sophomore year. But after that, he was just an award, award winning machine, to be honest, which he won all defensive second team, I believe, or first team, I believe twice. Let me just see, though. He won He won first team one time, won second team another time. And he is always just one of the best kids um, in this organization altogether. I'm sad I couldn't get him that NIT championship, but I think he's got a long career ahead of him. And I am looking forward to seeing what he can do at the NBA level. Now, we have some building to do, a little bit of building to do. Really, I think that Michael Workman is going to be the point guard that takes over from Zion Storm next year. But we have to see how recruiting goes in the offseason. We might find a gem that might be a starter as well. So we'll have to see how that goes. I think the starting lineup for the most part will remain the same regardless of who we get in recruiting because I really like William Caesar and Douglas Taylor on the inside. I definitely like them. And then Kayshawn Cooper coming off the bench. Such a good player. Ronnie Madoki as well. He is very, very good when he plays. And I just like our team overall. I mean, we don't have too many holes. I think that shooting off the bench is something that can get better. I was hoping that maybe Terrence Martin or uh, maybe even Katavian Morgan would have got more playing time, but I guess that's just how the game goes. Didn't get, get the playing time that I thought they would get. And then how about the career from Joseph Spratley? I really love Joseph Spratley playing with him. He was a very good player early on in this series, and he kind of lost his spot just to recruiting, but a very good career nonetheless. Now let's check out the NCAA tournament. Who won? UCLA, they beat Oakland. Now, I feel bad for Oakland. They went undefeated this year and then lost in the championship by one. I mean, that is just insane. I would be absolutely devastated if I was them to go undefeated, never lost, get to the championship and lose by one. I mean, geez, I mean, what a way to end your season. Probably worse than us. So we end up season number four, 32 and five. Next episode, we hop into the off season. I'm excited for that. So hit subscribe, hit that like button, 
Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah. Started from the mud, now you see us going up. Numbers never lie, now you see us blowing up. People used to front, now you see them showing up. So what's up? I've been down and now below. Keep it a buck, I don't. Always been one up on all of these. They be trying to front for all of these. I ain't got time because they all in the.